Welcome back everyone to more Motorsport Manager online. And what I've decided to do is just keep going as we are without any parts upgrades. The option obviously would be to wait about a day and, and let this HQ upgrade get itself done so that we can then have some staff opened up to do new parts upgrades, but so far we haven't needed it. We're consistently winning races and on the podium, so uh, we're just gonna keep going as is and we'll see if we have an opportunity to new, do new parts because of course they're gonna become uh, important as we continue to move forward and at some point we will need them, but for right now, it doesn't appear as though we do. So nothing to take care of up front. We are very nearing another upgrade uh, for David, but other than that, everything looks good. Let's head out to the track. Up next will be Yokohama. 31% chance of rain. It's very abrasive, so that means that those tires are going to wear. Will we still be able to use our one-stop strategy? Uh, we're about to find out. Bonus objective just keeps falling farther and farther down. Ninth place. Let's go ahead and choose our medium uh, tire forecast. Doesn't show anything for the first few laps. All right, so not bad overall. Let's go ahead and click on continue and see what kind of qualifying result we get. All right, what are the results? Fourth and 18th, so kind of what we've been used to seeing. Uh, qualifying power, there is a small gap there. I didn't think it was enough for that many positions on the track, but apparently so. So another nine lap race. So let's go ahead and do the five lap first. And yeah, let's go ahead and do five laps with both cars. This has worked out extremely well for us so far. So we'll just keep it up. And again, you can see a log jam here at the beginning. Oh yeah, and you're at a smooth part of the track since they've included these. Yep, and then they slow them down again with another chicane. Yeah, that's this is a one of the slower layouts for this particular track. And as we've already seen, it's very abrasive, which is good news for us, realistically, because it means that Jessica can really shine. Uh, because saving tires is what she does best. Ooh, looks like she's got an opportunity to pick up a few more spots. Nope, she's going to end up losing them right back. All right, there we go. Oh, some connection issues popping up. We're going to hope that that does not become normal for today's race. All right, so she's going to end up in, after a couple of laps, she's in fourth. All right, so let's see if we can stretch our legs a little bit. We want to stay in touch with the leaders. Again, taking a look at our uh, tire wear compared to those around us, and it definitely looks like those around us are on a different strategy than us, or at least they're not planning on doing a one-stop with soft tires on both stops, at least. Oh boy, it's getting a little jumpy here. Uh, if it gets much jumpier than this, I will be forced to stop the recording because it's not really what we're looking for. Uh, but you can see we're up to second now as we start to see some pit stops start. And so remember, we're going five laps here on this first stint. Obviously, the leader is not. He's going to be coming in this time around. All right, there we go. Final lap. Uh, so we started at 20. So that's going to give us just the perfect amount to finish off this particular lap. So let's go ahead and queue up our pit stops. Soft tires once again. Hopefully no rain. And then Robert, same thing. Pit stop for the medium tires. All right, there we go. Barely we're in the pits long enough to get the wheels stopped. Okay, we'll swap back over. Let's see what happens to Robert. So he is moving down. Okay, so 10th, 11th, somewhere in that range while we pick up the lead here with Jessica. And as we've seen before, uh, they have not been able to catch her. So she's five and a half seconds up right now. We'll see what she's able to stretch that out to. In the meantime, we're going to come back here and check on Robert, uh, where we need to move him up to neutral as well. 
uh, his reliability is dropping very quick. I'm not sure why it's actually that low compared to Jessica, as their driving strategy really hasn't been very different. And certainly not different enough to, uh, to bring about that big of a change. But it is what it is. So he has moved his way up to 17th, and you can see another pitch stop or two, actually, happening right in front of him, or about to happen. Let's wait for those icons to pop up there. Pit and pit, there you go. All right, so that's going to move him up into the fifth position with only a couple of laps to go. Meanwhile, we take a look up front, and Jessica is just gone. Twelve and a half seconds lead. You can see nobody's in the same zip code with her right now. So when she starts up front, it is, well, it's nothing good for everybody else. That's for sure. All right, so starting up the final lap. And so we've got what? We've got plenty of room behind us as far as a gap. But we are doing pretty well at catching this guy in front of us. Let's go ahead and go full attack mode. At least as much as we can. I'm going to watch this reliability. Hopefully it doesn't take a huge drop. And looks like we're going to make it. Okay, not bad. Not bad. We'll take that. First and fifth. Um, again, we have not struggled yet. And if we were going to struggle, uh, I would have thought it would have been now. These first few races uh, in this division with a less than stellar car. But so far, it has not happened. There's our good friend David. Hated to have to let him go, but it's just the way things worked out. So team finishing position first and championship points, 12 more points. So we will not be able to, in our second race, uh, obtain enough points in all likelihood anyway. I guess it may be possible if I don't remember how many points you could get for a 1-2 finish, but in all likelihood, we're going to run two more races in this division without any catastrophes that is a little more sheet metal and gears thank you very much we'll take it all right quick look at the strategies everybody's pretty much at a one stop but again soft tire and soft tire with that bonus is just more than these other guys can make up right now so we continue moving up the leaderboard 12,600 at this point now let's see what part we need to get busy fixing them. Remember, we had some serious reliability issues, but Jessica did not have any. So let's see if we can figure out which part is doing that. Shouldn't be the engine. We've seen here recently uh, a few videos back that we did some upgrades to the engine reliability, so it shouldn't be that. And when you look at it, their reliability is basically the same. Uh, all the parts look very good here, so I've got no complaints as far as that goes. Uh, so let's go ahead and fix the lowest percentage part here. We'll go ahead and do that. So yeah, I'm not sure what was triggering that. Maybe it's something I'm not paying attention to that was, uh, that was causing that to happen, but good news is we've got another upgrade. So upgrade to level four. We've got a lot of upgrades to do to Robert. A lot of upgrades. So let's go ahead and we're going to continue to... Uh, part of me wants to go... Let's do one more. I'm just dying to do this one. So let's go 99. And of course, he's going to have bonuses on top of that. But I really want to see if we can move him up on the grid even more than he is now. So that one more upgrade there. I couldn't resist myself. So now we have leveled up the driver trait. Now we're going to get 100 extra thousand in prize money. So now he's at 104, actually putting him a little bit ahead of Jessica. Uh, but of course, he didn't quite have the smoothness there. Four laps remaining on his contract versus seven for Jessica. And of course, at this point, uh, I am planning on retaining both of them. No reason really not to, even though there are certainly going to be drivers out there who are going to be stronger or, you know, better overall numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and move our way back. Again, not working on any parts for the at least foreseeable future. So everything looks good. Let's get back at it. 
Looks like we're up for Yokohama once again. So abrasive track, uh, wow, bonus objective 14th or above. It's almost as if it starts you out very aggressive, but then it takes pity on you uh, if just in case you're struggling and need some extra money. So everything looks good. Forecast, nothing there for the first few laps. Uh, everything looks all set. Let's go ahead and continue on. And let's see what kind of qualifying results. All right, fifth position and 18th. So about what we've seen in times past. That is, it makes it very tough for Robert to get up through there, but he's been doing it. He's been in the points. All right, so once again, we know exactly what we want to do for our strategy here at the beginning. Five laps for the first stint, and then moving on to four laps for the next stint. All right, once again, a huge log jam in the middle toward the rear of the pack. Uh, let's focus on Jessica for right now. All right, it said she overtook multiple drivers, which I believe that, and then you can very easily give it all right back with everything as jammed up as it is right now. So, oh wow, she is getting, uh, she was getting eaten up. Okay, that driver just hit Mach 8, I think, as he went by us. <laughs> that was a huge move that he made. All right, but you can see the leader is right there. So we haven't lost touch with the leader, even though we've lost several spots with Jessica. There you go again. There was a huge move. Somebody hit the push to pass button multiple times, I think, and got the benefit of it. So 8th and 10th or 11th here, so not terrible. Um, the leader's getting out to a bit of a lead here, a bit more than I would prefer them to, to get out to, that's for sure. But still, not worried, because remember, our strategy is such that it has been more than capable of making up all of this ground as we've seen in the past. So we'll see if we're going to be able to do that again. I mean, you can see the leader just screaming away as well they should be, honestly. Trying to get away. There you go. End of the first three laps. And a whole slew of people come in for their first pit stops. All right, so we're now sitting in second, 13 and a half seconds out. Uh, only, wow, only three and a half to four seconds in between both of our cars, so that's gonna make things interesting in the pit road. I think we're still gonna be fine. I'm not worried about it, but it is a lot closer than I expected it to be. So let's line up our pit stops. Jessica first, and then we'll go medium tire for Robert second. Only four seconds behind, so looking very good with both drivers here very close to one another, which again is nothing short of a, than a miracle given where the starting positions were for these two. Robert has made up quite a bit. Oh, how about that? Just got done with Jessica in time. But you can see just how much of a difference it makes if you're three and a half to four seconds behind. It is worth, in this case, three positions. All right, so now we can move up to neutral with both of our cars still not pushing and still not sure where Robert's reliability drops are coming from. Really wish I knew what that was. Not really to the point where I'm going to do a whole lot of checking because it just adds another uh, piece of the puzzle right now. All right, so third and fifth, once again, as all these pit stops are happening and all the strategies are being revealed, uh, we once again are doing quite nice. The real news here is, will we be able to move our way up to get both cars on the podium? Uh, not looking like we're gonna have any shot at the win here. Uh, the leader is well ahead, but can we get both cars on the podium is the real question. Let's go ahead and focus back on Jessica as she is right on the back end of second position. All right, as we're coming around for the final lap. 
All right, so final lap 0.27 is what you need for a full lap here, but we won't have that, but I think we're far enough along now that we can go ahead and do that. Robert is not really in touch to make anything happen here, but we'll go ahead and, and give him the boost as well. So second position, holding their own, so we will not be able to get both of our cars on the podium, so we'll finish third and fourth. So a little bit different than our most recent result here at this track. Still very nice. Seven points is what we'll bring home. So a far cry from what we've brought home in the past because winning the race definitely has some very nice advantages. All right, so other drivers on the podium, we've seen uh, Jack Hawksworth quite a bit. Sasha, we've seen him several times as well. All right, so we need eight more points in order to receive our next promotion. We received seven in this race, so it's gonna make things very interesting when we come back next time for our first race. Either way, I think we are in great position in our next video uh, with those two races to be able to move up and get our next promotion to the next tier up. So we pick up a few more gears and sheet metal, which we are always happy to accept. Once again, a lot more one-stop strategy. You have to get back to seventh position to see any two stoppers. Everything looking good overall. And you can see that's moved us into the top 25%, at least temporarily, with that. So into the top uh, 11,600, roughly. There are 2.5 million in race winnings. So can't complain about that. That is very nice overall. All right, so now which part do we need to work on next? Let's just find out. We've got, see what kind of drops we get in performance. Okay, nothing huge so far. It looks like one to three on everything across the board. Uh, reliability, honestly, is looking really good. So apparently some driver stat that Robert has is really causing that extreme reliability drop. All right, so what do we need to fix? What is the max here? 310, okay. And what do we have? Okay, this is good. This is a good opportunity. We've lost 10 points of performance there. We'll go ahead and fix that one. As we've certainly lost some performance over the last few races. So once again, a very good couple of races for us. We are getting consistent victories and podium finishes with one, if not both of our drivers. So things are going along quite well. Another good one to two races will be moving up into tier four. That's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me and stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager Online.